I'm going on a boar hunt. I'm gonna find a big one. I'm not scared. Oh no, water. I can't go over it. I can't go under it. Well, I have to go through it. <gasps> oh, oh no, I can, it's not that, it's not that wide. I can just go around it. I'm going on a boar hunt. I'm gonna find a big, wait, what? 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 I'm still not scared. I'm not finding any dang boars either. I'll tell you what. What happened to the jungle? Was I... Was I in the jungle? Maybe, uh... Maybe south wasn't wasn't the way to go. Going on a boar hunt. I'm going back the other way. I'm not scared. I'm not. I'm playing too much dang Animal Crossing. Those butterflies are giving me entirely the wrong instincts. <gasps> wild boar! I I found him. I found a wild boar. Got him. Got got it. I got a I got a big one. Wild boar. Yep. Delicious wild boar. Very dangerous. Killed it with my own hands. Probably should find some more of these large animals. Oh, crap, where'd they go? Wild boar? Like oink oink? Oink oink wild boar? Wild boar? Wild boar? Oink oink? <gasps> I found another wild boar. Wild boar! Frame rate is too low for hunting! <laughs> Get back here! Get back here, piggy! Oi! You, where do you even? Oh, the frame, the frames, my frames! This dang, this dang pig stole all my frames. It's dead now. Delicious wild boar meat. Spectacular, great, perfect. I'm very, I'm very hungry. I finish out the last of my stew from the last wild boar. Ooh, yeah, that's not enough. That's not enough. Any more wild boars out here? Wild boar! Wild boar? Oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. Wild boar. I'm not scared. I could, could use some more frames per second, maybe. Maybe some more frames? Go on, a, on an FPS hunt? Anyone see any wild frames per second? I'm not even in the jungle anymore, so I can't blame the leaf blocks from the jungle. This is, uh, this is something else. Wild boar! Hmm. Going on a missing chunk hunt? Yikes. Yikes. Has anyone, has anyone seen the missing chunk? Should put up, maybe should put up some posters or something. Reward offered, missing chunk. I know how to fix that in Minecraft. I don't know how to do it in Vintage Story. So I guess that chunk is just gonna stay lost in whatever dimension it's been transported to. What a beautiful day. Well, folks, uh, welcome to the jungle. Welcome back to the jungle. I just went on a little boar hunt. Because I was out of food, as you saw. Uh, as you as you also saw, I did successfully hunt and kill two very dangerous wild boars. So, um, that was pretty satisfying. Feels good. Pretty proud of that. 
I am making my way back, and I do believe I may have got just a little bit turned around. <laughs> so, um, I don't think, I don't think I'm lost. I think I'm close. I think I'm close. But I am not 100% positive that I know where I am. Which is not the absolute best. But, oh no, here we are. Yeah, I, I, I did it. I done did it. I got myself straight home. Spectacular. Um... So that little boar hunt, aside from these three pieces of wild boar meat, which I did find, uh, I'm pretty pretty pleased about that. Let's, um, let's maybe get cooking here, because I'm hungry. Uh, I did also find some other goodies along the way. I got a rice seed. I found a couple of soybeans, which surprised me. I did not think soybeans would grow here. Uh, I do have this soybean as well, which I think I can also put in there. Yeah, I get a little extra nutrition. Sure, why not? Let's light, let's light this baby up. Uh, actually, we probably we should probably put some firewood in there first. Like, probably. There we go. I'll slide this baby up now. Uh, I also made another incredible discovery. Uh, first of all, you may also notice these. Uh, papyrus now has roots, so I can actually plant these over here. I could start transporting um, cattails and papyrus over, over this way. They don't need to be by water. You can plant them anywhere, but it's just... Thematically, it feels appropriate to, to keep them by the water, so we'll just plant these over here. We'll just like, just like right here. Just kind of, can I just? No, I have to. I have to move the structure. Okay. So let's get these put down. It's just a good, a good source of, of reeds, basically. There we go. We've got some papyrus there. These are growing in nicely. I will have to plant the other seeds that I found. Um, but even more excitingly, while that's cooking, let me see, I went, I went this way. Uh, I made another discovery along the way, which I did not show you. And I was very surprised by it, actually. I found something I did not think I would be able to find in this world, because I didn't think it was possible to find it in a world with high humidity. But it turns out I was incorrect about that. It is possible to find... I can find the torch that I put down. You guys hear that? I don't know if you can hear that or not. Where'd they go? You see? You see? We got bees! There's bees in this tree. This tree's got bees. It's a bee tree. A tree full of bees. Uh, covered in bees. We're gonna be covered in bees. We found bees. <laughs> that's the secret. That's, that's the incredible discovery. Um... Truly a very incredible discovery, because, like I said, I didn't think bees could spawn in jungles. I thought they only spawned in drier environments. Now, I don't know if that's something that's been changed in recent versions, or if it's just something that was never true, and I just didn't realize. Uh, but I found bees in the jungle, and they're really close to home. So that's really exciting. I will, at some point, have to get over there with some skeps. We're gonna have to make, uh, get, get some bees. Uh, now, the, the boar meat that I did find, oh, it's all cooked up. Look at this deliciousness. It's all cooked up. Um, only one serving, unfortunately, and also unfortunately, it's, it's. I mean, it's got. It's a. It's a good hearty meal, but it's not as nutritious as I was hoping to find. I need. A, I need to move. I need to move stuff over to the chests. I have not. I. I have not done any organization between last video and this one. I haven't done any progress at all. I just. I was immediately like. I ended the video and then I was like, oh no, I'm basically out of food. I should probably immediately go on a boar hunt. So that's what I did. And that's where we are now. Let's put the seeds... Well, let's, let's go plant the seeds immediately, probably. I also brought a trough and a stack of dry grass. I think... Look at the difference. In my inventory, 2.5 years. And here, 1.1 years. Which is fine, though, because that, I'll, I'll eat that within a year, for sure. Um, yeah, no, no boars. None of the normal, normal-sized large boars, which I was hoping to find. I did go south, and I think the climate was getting... Folks... I heard you. I heard you screaming through through the, the... Thank you so much. It came to me through space and time. I heard you. But we got three. Thank you. You're all heroes, and I love you a great deal. Got the Terra Preta. Almost forgot it again, but thanks to you and your psychic vibrations. Well, good. Um, I don't know how much how much... Just replace these three. Oh, oh, ba -da -da. 
glorious. Look at that. Oh, it's the good stuff. Rice, soybeans, soybeans. All, all the, the plants we can plant are good. Uh, yeah, I think the climate was getting drier as I went south, uh, and I was not seeing... The only animals I saw were a few chickens. So I guess I'm going to have to go in a different direction. Maybe I'll head north. I have kind of been north before, but I haven't gone super far. So I guess we've got to go that way, because this is not going to last me more than another day or so. And that's this... I, I was hoping to just kind of quickly find... Just kind of quickly find a boar. Kill it. Set, set, set up its family with uh, some food. Pen it in. And then have a secondary source of boar. Because I, I can't kill any more boars over there. I need to wait for them to have babies. So, yeah. It's a bit of a tricky situation. I'm gonna have to hope that I have better luck in this direction. Because food is scarce. Food is scarce. So far. It won't be forever, but at the moment it is. On the, uh, on the patron server, which, still there, patron server, uh, $5 and up all patrons, check, check out my Patreon link below if you want to play with me. Uh, the patron server, I, my farm has got a little out of control. I was breeding pigs, and I, I bred up a whole bunch of pigs, and then I didn't play for like a week or two. More copper. I did not bring my pick. There's copper everywhere, it's not an issue. If I, if I spot, oh. If I spot, uh, tin, I should probably make a note of where that is. What we got here? Which one is this? We, we got, we got, we got a container of some sort in here? Maybe, maybe containing some good, good loot? Oh, it's one of these. It's got a farming, farming vessel. Yep, look at this. I am an expert. What do we get? Ooh, flax twine! Some more cabbage. Flax twine is very good. I can make a bucket with flax twine. That's extremely exciting. Good news, everyone. Good news. All right. Uh, so yeah, I have wandered up this way before. Did not find any pigs. They can spawn in after the world is generated, of course. Now, my best bet may be just to go east and west, where the temperature shouldn't change too much, but... <gasps> speak, speak of the dang devil. Look at this, we got babbies, we got everything. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. It's all right, babies, I'm not after you, I'm after your parents. Look at them, wonderful. So I'm gonna make a, a boar pit. Another boar pit. I should've just come this way in the first place. Why did, why did I not? That's the eternal question. Why didn't I come this way in the first place? Here we go, all right, I'm gonna set this up. Go a little bit wider than that. Ugh. Don't try to break grass with a shovel. It's very inefficient, folks. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm setting a bad example. Whoa, hello. Hi. We're cool right now, right? Yeah, we're cool for the moment. I haven't attempted to murder you yet. I will do that soon. So we're gonna make this too deep so they can't get out. I'll put the trough in the middle. They should be attracted to that. Fill that baby up. Maybe just kind of give him a gentle nudge. Gentle nudge into the pit. Can we give you a gentle nudge in? Will you accept a gentle nudge there, boar friend? Yes. Good. Good. And mama boar. Mama boar, would you accept a gentle... <laughs> You're a little further away. You're a little further away. Uh, let's... I'll make, I'll make a ladder so that I can get out of here. Let me just put ladders on each side like that. Uh, Mama Boar, can we can we give you a gentle nudge into the pit? Can you join your husband? I mean, or your boyfriend, or just your lover? I, I'm, I'm not passing judgment. You do you. There we go. In you go. Spectacular. Uh, now, if they, um, if if too many of them wind up in here, we could have troubles. Let me see if I can kind of herd the little baby piggly wigglies in that direction. I don't know exactly where they went. Babies, go to mama. You're supposed to follow your mama. You're coded to follow your mama. I can't see now, it's getting dark. This is a problem. Uh, problem is usually you get more than two of these boars. I only appear to have found two. There you go, you go in there. So there's two babies. 
The odds of both of them being female is actually quite high. The odds of both of them being male is next to nothing. So I may go ahead and kill the sow for now. And then wait for the bit the babies to grow up. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because I need I need some food, guys. Um, male male wild boar are f far rarer. Oh man, I made this hard on myself. I just just let, let this happen, please. <laughs> just let this happen. Let me do this, please. My survival depends on it. You understand? Nothing personal. There's nothing personal. Oh my gosh. Why do I gotta make it so difficult? I could just throw it, but if I miss... I gotta, and I gotta have to go back down in here. Oh, man. There we go. Okay, can I uh, butcher you from here, friend? Am I gonna have to get, get down in there and potentially... Oh, no, I can butcher you from here. Sweet! Oh, we have food. Good. Good, 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 good. There we go. That's that's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Can I just break this? I hate having the bones in there. It's very upsetting. I'm sorry, children. I, di I know I murdered your mother right in front of you, and I'm really, really sorry. I'm super sorry. Oh, my, folks, my laundry is going off in the, ba in the back. I'm doing laundry, and it's really loud. And uh, if you can hear it, I apologize for that annoying sound. I don't know if it's going to be picked up or not. Usually when I say things like that, it doesn't get picked up, but you never know. All right, I'm heading back home. And then we'll cook up the rest of this meat. And uh, I don't know how much time I got left in this episode, to be honest. I've been recording for a while. But a lot of that recording was uh, me going off on my boar hunt. Which, most of which I, I will be cutting out. Because you don't... It was very boring. It's extremely boring, folks. And tell the truth. Not everything, I, not everything I do is entertaining. That's just life. Sometimes life is boring. Man, it's real dark tonight. We got... It's not even, it's not even a new moon. There's a little bit of moon. Not quite enough. Ooh, laundry's kicking up, kicking up into gear. All right, I'm gonna get myself back home. Hey, we got a bucket. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Of course, I already have my farm set up over here. What can you do, you know? What can you do? You can go over and you can plant your new uh, cabbage seeds, I guess. It's the main thing you can do. Ah, we're talking. Now we got some proper food going. Now we got, we're gonna have enough food from this. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to eat it all before it goes bad. I got so much food from this that I got enough to waste. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> awesome, all right. Um, so this, I, I, I've, been, I've been getting food all day today. It's been a day of, of uh, hunting and a little bit of gathering, mostly hunting. And it was successful. We do have the stew cooking up. Where's the where's the moon? What little of it there is? I think I think it's worth having a sleep while my food is cooking. I'm gonna get some daylight back. I'm so sick of playing in the dark, straining my dang eyes. Oh, what a beautiful morning. I mean that unironically. Look at this mist. We get the sun rising. We got we got fire particles just all over the place. This is really lovely. Cool. Um, I'm set for food for a while. I can start to focus on other things. It's, it's, it's cooking up. It's going to be fine. Um, so the next thing I want to do, all this mess over here needs, needs to go, right? Uh, but I can't be cooking and, and doing smithing and stuff on a straw floor. That's just, it's just foolish. So what I'm going to do is uh, make up some cobblestone, and we're going to make a second shack for doing blacksmithing work and uh, cooking and stuff. And I'll probably I'll move my storage inside here at some point, because really at the moment this doesn't really have a use except for my bed. It's just a nice it's a nice little shack, but I like I like my spaces to be useful. So I have a single andesite cobblestone over here. I could have grabbed my pick, but I did not. Uh, it's easy enough to get more andesite. It's easy enough to get clay. Clay is everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and take some time and uh, start to build a nice area over here. All this, all this bamboo is grown as well. I'm going to have to start cutting the bamboo down. Um, I'm probably going to do most of this stuff in between episodes, right? I really wanted to get my little boar hunt done. <laughs> I really wanted to get my little boar hunt done uh, on camera. Uh, the building is going to be mostly grindy, tedious stuff. 
Maybe I'll do some kind of updates as I go. And I will also make a path to the boar pen over there. And I'll, why, don't, why don't I make another path to the boar pen up there? Right? We can just do both. Um, so I'll get some progress done, and then I'll check back in with you folks. Actually, folks, you know what? Doing a little bit of terraforming here. Doing a little bit of getting started with the, with the new build. Um... And I'm realizing it's probably gonna be... It's probably gonna be a couple of, like, real-life days before I make enough progress that it would be worth coming back and checking in. Uh, I did come over here and set up some more uh, bronze tools, by the way. So in a moment we're gonna have a shovel, an axe, a pick, and a sword there. Um, rather than wait several days just to add a few minutes to this video, I'm gonna leave this video to be a little bit shorter than usual. Just, it's not that much shorter, but a little bit shorter than usual. Um, just in the name of getting the video out, so you folks can watch it. And then I'll try to make some progress between now and the next one. And then I'll be able to share that with you. I'm already kind of getting started laying out some ideas. We're gonna put, um, like a smithing and cooking area over here. Get a roof over that. And then what I'm thinking is maybe next episode, I'll show you whatever I've, I've done. And then maybe we'll finally go out and start looking for our first pieces of iron, actually. Because I'm kind of at a point where I can do that. As, as long as I've got enough food to last me for a few days, which I do, I can go out and start seeing how lucky I got. Maybe I got real lucky and there's iron nearby. Because you remember, my, my final goal for this run is to make a full set of iron armor of some sort. So that's, that's a thought. That's a thought. Um... Thank you very much for watching this one. I'm going to get get grinding and get a few things done and I'm going to see you all in the next one. See it see see, see you then. Bye.